Hi, my name is Adil Khan. I'm the founder of Magic School and a lifelong teacher and principal. I'm so excited to show you a cool new feature in Magic School for Students, which we launched about two weeks ago, that allows teachers to customize tools before they launch these tools to their students uh, to make a more seamless experience and really unleash creativity amongst educators uh, who we know are going to come up with so many cool ideas to customize these tools and make them really curated uh, and meaningful to their students. Um, and we'll start with clicking launch to students on the left sidebar here, which gets us to our student rooms. And I'm going to click launch new room to start the process of creating my room for my students with the magic school tools I want for them. And in this case, I'm going to click Raina for students, the writing feedback tool, the research assistant and the chatbot builder. These are the four tools that I want to launch to my students for the lesson or activity for the day. Um, and I'm going to click next. And now we get to this new menu uh, in this process where before you couldn't customize the tools before launching them to your students, but now you can. And we've done this in a really cool way. If you click, let's say the writing feedback tool and you wanna customize this tool before you, you launch it, you click the tool like I just did, and then you select the grade level for your students. In this case, my students are in eighth grade. The assignment is a persuasive essay. Yeah, I spelled that wrong, thanks for correcting me. Um, and for the feedback, I'm going to actually attach a rubric uh, that I created with Magic School, actually, which is my persuasive essay rubric. And on the right here, uh, again, I'm customizing this tool before students actually get it. I'm going to click this eyeball because I don't necessarily need them to know that I selected eighth grade. And I don't want them to have the ability to toggle that. So I click this eyeball here on the right, this icon to hide that field. On the right of this platform, you'll see the way that students will actually experience the tool. So since I hid that, students will no longer be able to toggle or edit that field um, when I launch this to my students. So I toggle that off. They know it's a persuasive essay, so I'm gonna to toggle that off too. I don't necessarily need them to know the rubric that I attached for this writing feedback, so I'm gonna remove that. So the only thing that my students will see now is where they're gonna put in their writing to get feedback on in the platform. And that's exactly what I want them to see. So I'm gonna click next. And again, I loaded in uh, what I'm, they're, they're gonna get feedback on and the rubric I want associated with this. I'll click next. And this is a great way for you to actually test it out before you, you actually use it with your students. So in this case, you could actually copy paste like a sample essay in here, click generate and get a feel in the platform for what that feedback would look like. Uh, this is fully functioning. So if you click the generate button, you actually will see the kind of feedback students will get. And if it's to your liking, fantastic. If not, you can go back and you can modify it just a little bit here um, and then try it again before you launch it to your students. In this case, let's pretend that I tested it and it's working beautifully. Now I'm good to go. I'm gonna click done. I am, I've confirmed that I've customized uh, this tool and these tools will remain the same as what I expect. I don't, want, I don't need to customize these, but I could if I wanted. Let's actually customize Reina. I'm gonna set the grade level for Reina and I'm going to hide it. That's just one easy thing that you might do to, to take away a few options from students because you know the level that they're on and you don't want them to be confused by that before you launch it. Now I have my two customized tools, my two tools that are not customized. I click next, I launch room, and now I have my magic student link. I'm gonna create a new window here. I'm gonna log into that room. My name is Adil, join room and I see my, my best practices flag. And now when I click uh, these tools that I built, I go to writing feedback and there it is. Uh, when I put in my essay here, it will only, uh, it'll take into account the things I customized prior to launching this and give the feedback around that rubric that I preloaded. And then when I go to Reina for students, it took away the grade level, but it does know the grade level that I inserted for Reina. So it'll adapt to that level before, um, before usage. And now this is just much more seamless, easy, customized to use. You'll find all kinds of ways to customize the other tools in the platform too. Um, but that's the way this new function works. We think that you're gonna love it. And we can't wait to see all the ways that you customize this for your students and make uh, their classroom experiences even more exciting with AI. Um, let us know what you think. Have a great day and thanks for, for being a part of our community.